imagine yourself uncovering an age-old artifact etched with enigmatic symbols that elude comprehension. It feels like you've unearthed a cosmic communique, eternally preserved, yearning to narrate its epic saga. This isn't a snippet from a sci-fi flick, but a tangible predicament faced by numerous archaeologists and linguists who stumble upon undecipherable scripts from extinguished civilizations. These puzzling engravings, eternally preserved in rock, parchment or clay, have braved the passage of time, silently attesting to our shared human chronicle. They are the silent whispers of our ancestors. Ancestors eager to narrate their stories, their voices locked within forgotten tongues. These age-old inscriptions are the keys, each carrying the potential to unmask the mysteries of societies that thrived millennia ago. They create a bridge to our past, a passage into the cognition and existence of our ancestors. However, many of these scripts remain veiled in secrecy, protected by the intricate ciphers they embody. The mission to decipher these scripts is a captivating expedition filled with enigma, resolve, and the of discovery. From the Rosetta Stone to the Voynich Manuscript, join us as we embark on this mesmerizing journey of deciphering cryptic and ancient scripts. Our goal is to unfold the significance of decipherment as a fundamental tool in unraveling historical mysteries and to highlight its role in shedding light on the secrets of our past. In the vast tapestry of human history, one of the most profound advancements was the invention of writing. Let's embark on a journey back in time to the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia, and the birth of the first known writing system, Cuneiform. Developed by the Sumerians around 3200 BC, Cuneiform was initially a pictographic system with symbols representing objects or concepts. Over time, it evolved into an intricate system of wedge-shaped marks inscribed on clay tablets with a reed stylus and was used for a myriad of purposes, from recording economic transactions to preserving epic tales like Gilgamesh. From there, we traversed to the fertile banks of the Nile, where the ancient Egyptians developed a complex system of hieroglyphs around 3100 BC. These beautiful pictorial scripts adorned tomb walls and sacred texts, chronicling the lives of pharaohs, their divine communion with the gods, and their beliefs about the afterlife. Our journey then takes us to the Far East, where the ancient Chinese created a system of logographic writing around 1200 BC. Each character represented a word or a phrase, and these scripts were often inscribed on oracle bones for divination, serving as an early form of communication between the human and the divine. Finally, we journey across the Pacific to Mesoamerica, where the Olmec and Maya civilizations developed a system of glyphs, some of the few scripts in the pre-Columbian Americas. These glyphs were used to record their complex calendar systems, royal lineages, and significant religious and societal events. These ancient scripts were not merely modes of communication. They were tools of power, keys to the divine, and a means to immortalize history. Yet many of these scripts still baffle us today. Despite significant breakthroughs, numerous scripts remain undeciphered, their secrets locked away in symbols. They represent lost languages, forgotten cultures, and missing pieces of our human narrative. Deciphering these scripts is akin to unlocking a time capsule, offering us a glimpse into the thoughts, beliefs, and lives of our distant ancestors. As we continue our journey, we'll delve into the fascinating process of deciphering these ancient scripts and the enigmatic mysteries they hold. Let's take a moment to appreciate the extraordinary circumstances that led to the discovery of these ancient scripts and their subsequent deciphering. Imagine you are a French soldier in Egypt, late 18th century. You stumble upon a slab of black basalt buried in the sand. Little do you know, this Rosetta Stone will become the key to unlocking the mysteries of a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. Or picture yourself as an archaeologist in the ruins of ancient Mesopotamia. You unearth a clay tablet covered in peculiar wedge-shaped marks. This cuneiform tablet will reveal the epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known pieces of literature. Each of these discoveries was a stroke of good fortune a serendipitous find that would revolutionize our understanding of the past. They challenged scholars to decode the symbols, to resurrect languages that had been silent for millennia. It was the beginning of a thrilling intellectual adventure, a global quest to decipher the past. The Rosetta Stone, in particular, sparked a frenzy of interest. 
It became a symbol of the tantalizing mysteries of the ancient world, a puzzle that begged to be solved. Its discovery was a watershed moment in the field of Egyptology and the study of ancient scripts. These ancient scripts have captivated the imagination of scholars and laymen alike. They have been featured in countless books, films and television series, from Indiana Jones to The Mummy, from Tomb Raider to National Geographic documentaries. They have become symbols of our enduring fascination with the enigmatic past, with the mysteries of civilizations long gone. They remind us of the power of writing, of the ability to transcend time, to communicate across millennia. They are a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of our ancestors, a legacy that continues to inspire us today. As we delve deeper into the process of deciphering these scripts, we'll explore the painstaking efforts of scholars, the Eureka moments, and the profound impact these discoveries have had on our understanding of human history. So let's turn the page and continue our journey into the mysterious world of ancient scripts. In our previous scene, we briefly touched on the remarkable discovery of the Rosetta Stone. Now, let's delve deeper into the story of this monumental find. Picture the scene. The year is 1799. Napoleon Bonaparte's ambitious Egyptian campaign is in full swing. French soldiers, under the command of Pierre-Francois Bouchard, are fortifying a dilapidated fort near the town of Rosetta. While clearing away rubble, they stumble upon a slab of black basalt. Little did they know, they had just unearthed one of the most significant archaeological artifacts in history, the Rosetta Stone. This slab, adorned with inscriptions, was a royal decree issued by King Ptolemy V in 196 BC. The decree was inscribed in three scripts. At the top, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, the script of the priests. In the middle, Demotic, a native script used for daily purposes. And at the bottom, ancient Greek, the language of the administration. This trilingual inscription was a breakthrough, a Rosetta Stone, if you will, to unlock the mysteries of the Egyptian hieroglyphs. For centuries, the hieroglyphic script of the ancient Egyptians had been a closed book. The knowledge of how to read and write this intricate script had been lost in the sands of time. But the Rosetta Stone changed everything. It was like a linguistic treasure map, guiding scholars to the understanding of an ancient language. The same decree, written thrice, provided scholars with a parallel text, a key to crack the hieroglyphic code. The inscription on the stone was a decree from Ptolemy V, proclaiming his divine ancestry and his right to rule Egypt. It was a typical example of pharaonic propaganda, but to the scholars who would eventually decipher it, it was pure gold. The Greek text, a language well understood by scholars, served as a guide. By matching the Greek words and phrases to their hieroglyphic counterparts, scholars could slowly begin to decode the ancient script. The Rosetta Stone was more than just a discovery. It was a puzzle, a challenge, and a key to the past. It opened a window into a civilization that had been silent for over a millennium, allowing us to hear the voices of the ancient Egyptians for the first time. This unassuming slab of stone became the key that unlocked the secrets of ancient Egypt, paving the way for further discoveries and the decoding of other ancient scripts. But the story of decipherment is far from over. Let's continue our journey and see where it leads us next. Having uncovered the Rosetta Stone, we now find ourselves with a trilingual key to history. Let's delve deeper into the three scripts that adorn this monumental artifact. At the top, we find the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, a script of symbols that was once the language of the priests and the pharaohs. Hieroglyphs are a complex system of sacred characters, each one a work of art, representing objects, sounds and concepts. An example from the stone is the phrase Ptolemy, ever living, beloved of Pitar, where the name Ptolemy is depicted by a square, a half circle, a lion and two semicircles. In the middle, we find the Demotic script, a native script used for day-to-day -day purposes. This script is a simplification of the hieroglyphs, less artistic in nature, but more practical for the necessities of daily life. The same phrase in Demotic appears as a series of short strokes and curves, far removed from the stylized pictograms of the hieroglyphs. At the bottom, we find ancient Greek, the language of the administration. The Greek text is written in a well-understood script and it served as a guide to decipher the other two. The phrase 
Ptolemy ever living beloved of Ta in Greek is Ptolemaios Aeson Philostuptai, a testament to the linguistic prowess of this ancient civilization. The Rosetta Stone was a linguistic treasure map, guiding scholars to the understanding of an ancient language. The same decree, written thrice, provided a parallel text that allowed a French scholar named Jean-Francois Champollion to crack the hieroglyphic code. Champollion realized that hieroglyphs were not just symbolic, but also phonetic, a combination of sounds and ideas. This was a revolutionary discovery, proving that the Rosetta Stone was not just a key to ancient Egypt, but a stepping stone to understanding the written word's evolution. As we delve deeper into the world of ancient scripts, let's remember the pivotal role the Rosetta Stone played in deciphering the past. Before we journey further into the realm of ancient Egypt, it's essential to understand the man who made it all possible, Jean-Francois Champollion. Born in 1790 in France, Champollion was a linguistic prodigy. He was fluent in several languages, including Latin, Greek, Hebrew, Arabic, Persian, and even Coptic, the liturgical language of Christian Egypt. His deep interest in the ancient world, particularly Egypt, led him to study the Coptic language extensively, which he believed held the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs. He was right. His knowledge of Coptic would prove instrumental in his groundbreaking work with the Rosetta Stone. Champollion's approach to the Rosetta Stone was meticulous and methodical. He began by comparing the Greek text with the Demotic and hieroglyphic scripts, matching word for word, phrase for phrase. He then used his knowledge of Coptic to identify possible phonetic sounds in the hieroglyphic script. This was a long and arduous process, full of trial and error, but Champollion was undeterred. His relentless pursuit of understanding led him to a groundbreaking realization. Hieroglyphs were not just symbolic, they were also phonetic. The pivotal moment came when Champollion successfully deciphered the hieroglyphic script, the first person to do so in over a millennium. It was a revolutionary discovery, one that would change our understanding of ancient Egypt and its rich culture and history. As we move forward in our exploration of ancient scripts, let's not forget the linguistic prodigy who made it all possible, Jean-Francois Champollion. Let's take a moment to reflect on the lasting impact of Champollion's monumental breakthrough and the legacy of the Rosetta Stone. The decipherment of hieroglyphs by Champollion was not just a linguistic achievement, it was a gateway into the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian history and culture. With the hieroglyphs unlocked, we could finally hear the voices of the pharaohs, read their stories, and understand their beliefs. It gave us insight into their rituals, their philosophies, their dreams, and their fears. This was not just a translation, it was a resurrection, a revival of an ancient civilization that had been silent for over a millennium. The Rosetta Stone became a symbol of discovery and understanding, a beacon for scholars and historians. Its legacy resonates even today, as it continues to inspire the study of ancient scripts and the quest to unlock the secrets of our past. It reminds us of the power of language, how it can bridge centuries, cultures and civilizations, and how it can unveil the mysteries of history. Thanks to the Rosetta Stone and Champollion's relentless dedication, we have a more profound understanding of ancient Egypt, its language, its people, its culture. And as we delve deeper into the enigmatic scripts of other forgotten civilizations, we carry with us the legacy of this historic breakthrough. The Rosetta Stone and Champollion's triumph stand as a testament to human curiosity, persistence, and our insatiable desire to connect with our past. As we journey forward, let's remember the power of decipherment and the doors it can open to lost worlds and ancient wisdom. Even as we celebrate the triumphs of decipherment, we must remember there are still undecoded scripts out there waiting to reveal their secrets. One such enigma is the Voynich Manuscript. This mysterious book was discovered in 1912 by the Polish antiquarian Wilfred Voynich. The manuscript, named in his honor, is a baffling artifact that has puzzled scholars and cryptographers for over a century. The Voynich Manuscript is not a grand stone monument like the Rosetta Stone, but a small, unassuming book. It measures approximately 23.5 by 16.2 centimeters, roughly the size of a modern paperback. The book is bound in vellum, a type of fine parchment, and its pages are filled with a script that is unlike anything ever seen. This unidentified script 
a parade of strange and swirling symbols is written in an unknown language or code. It has resisted all attempts at decipherment, earning the Voynich Manuscript the title of the world's most mysterious book. But the manuscript's mysteries extend beyond its cryptic text. Its pages are adorned with a myriad of bizarre and beautiful illustrations. They depict fantastical plants that do not correspond to any known species, celestial diagrams filled with unknown constellations, and complex networks of pipes and vessels that seem to be a form of biological or chemical representation. Despite countless attempts to decipher it, the Voynich manuscript remains as enigmatic today as when it was discovered. Its secrets are locked away in its unknown script and its mysterious illustrations, waiting for the next Champollion who might finally crack its code. The Voynich manuscript stands as a testament to the enduring allure and challenge of undeciphered scripts. As we venture into the realms of ancient Egypt in the next scene, let's keep in mind the mysteries that still yearn to be solved and the knowledge that waits to be unearthed. The quest continues. As we delve deeper into the enigma of the Voynich manuscript, we encounter a unique script aptly named Voynich essay. This script is unlike anything we've seen before. It's not an alphabet, syllabary, or logography. Instead, it seems to be a combination of these, an intricate dance of symbols that defies categorization. Here, we'll take a closer look at a few examples of Voynich essay text. The script is composed of around 20, 30 distinct symbols, some resembling Latin letters and numbers, others entirely unique. One of the most recurring symbols, which looks like a combination of the number 4 and the letter O, is often used at the beginning of words. Another symbol, resembling an elaborate M, frequently appears at the end. Yet, despite these patterns, Voynichese defies translation. Unlike the Rosetta Stone, where the Greek script provided a clear guide to deciphering the hieroglyphs, Voynichese has no such Rosetta Stone. No known language matches or even closely aligns with its structure. It doesn't seem to follow the rules of any known linguistic system. Take, for instance, the word order. In most languages, certain words naturally cluster together. In English, you might say bright red apple, but not apple red bright. Yet, in Voynichese, there is no discernible pattern to word order. Moreover, the language of the Voynich manuscript lacks the telltale signs of natural linguistic evolution. It doesn't display the commonalities seen across languages that have developed over time, such as the balance between vowels and consonants, or the frequency distribution of words. These peculiarities make Voynichese an enigma within an enigma. It's a script that doesn't fit any known model, a language that defies our understanding of how languages work. The challenge of cracking the Voynich code is monumental, but the allure of its mysteries keeps scholars, cryptographers and linguists coming back. As we delve into the secrets of ancient Egypt in our next scene, let's remember the Voynich manuscript, a reminder of the mysteries that still await us. Before we venture into the mysteries of ancient Egypt, let's take a moment to ponder the many theories and controversies surrounding the Voynich manuscript. Given its enigmatic nature, the manuscript has sparked a multitude of hypotheses about its origin, authorship and intended audience. Some propose that it's a work of medieval cryptography, a coded message waiting to be deciphered. Others suggest it's an alchemical treatise, filled with arcane knowledge known only to a select few. Yet others see it as a botanical guide or a manual for herbal medicine. Given the numerous illustrations of plants, some of which bear a resemblance to known species, others entirely fantastical. As for the author, the theories are just as numerous and diverse. Some attribute it to Roger Bacon, a 13th century English philosopher and one of the earliest European advocates of the scientific method. Others point to John Dee, a 16th century mathematician, astronomer and advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, known for his interest in alchemy and the occult. Yet, the evidence for both is circumstantial at best and neither theory holds much water among most scholars. The intended audience of the manuscript is another enigma. Was it meant for the eyes of a select few, a secret society perhaps? Or was it intended for a wider audience? a public curious about the mysteries of nature and the cosmos. Yet, perhaps the most heated debate is over the manuscript's authenticity. Some argue that it's a sophisticated hoax, a medieval prank designed to baffle and amuse. 
others maintain it's a genuine artifact, a window into a world and a mind that we have yet to fully understand. Despite numerous radiocarbon dating tests, which suggest the manuscript's parchment dates back to the early 15th century, the controversy persists. The Voynich manuscript remains a tantalizing puzzle, a linguistic and historical mystery that continues to captivate scholars, cryptographers, and amateur sleuths alike. As we leave this enigma behind and journey on to the decipherment of ancient Egypt, we carry with us the reminder that not all scripts yield their secrets easily. Some, like the Voynich manuscript, continue to defy our understanding, challenging us to look deeper, think harder, and never cease in our quest for knowledge as we delve deeper into the enigma of the Voynich manuscript. Let's take a closer look at its illustrations. More than mere decorations, these drawings are as much a part of the manuscript's mystery as its indecipherable text. They are our visual clues, our silent narrators guiding us through the manuscript's arcane world. The manuscript is replete with botanical illustrations, over 113 different species, each rendered with a level of detail that suggests a keen observation. Yet, these aren't your typical botanical drawings. Some plants bear a resemblance to known species, while others seem entirely fantastical, as if they sprang from an imaginative mind or an alien ecosystem. Are these depictions of real plants, encoded descriptions of medicinal herbs, or purely symbolic representations? The mystery deepens. Turning the pages, we find astronomical and astrological diagrams, circular charts filled with stars, moons, and other celestial bodies. Some illustrations seem to depict constellations, while others feature mysterious symbols, perhaps zodiac signs or planetary alignments. What secrets do these cosmic maps hold? Are they an astronomer's observations, an astrologer's predictions, or a philosopher's musings on the cosmos? Again, the manuscript keeps its secrets well. In other sections, we find what appear to be biological drawings, showing naked women in strange tubs or channels filled with an unknown liquid. Are these depictions of bathing rituals, fertility rites, or symbolic representations of human biology? The interpretations are as varied as they are intriguing. Each illustration, each symbol, adds a new layer to the mystery of the Voynich manuscript. They tantalize us with their beauty, their intricacy, and their sheer strangeness. They invite us to keep looking, keep guessing, keep wondering. As we move forward on our journey from the enigma of the Voynich manuscript to the decipherment of ancient Egypt, we are reminded once again that the pursuit of knowledge is as much about the questions we ask as the answers we find. Before we embark on the journey of deciphering ancient Egypt, let's take a pause to appreciate the efforts made by countless cryptographers and linguists in attempting to decode the Voynich manuscript. Over the centuries, this enigmatic book has attracted the attention of many brilliant minds, each hoping to be the one to crack its code. Yet, despite their best efforts, the manuscript remains largely undeciphered, its secrets as elusive as ever. One of the earliest decipherment attempts was made by the Jesuit scholar Athanasius Kircher in the 17th century. He was convinced that the manuscript was written in Egyptian hieroglyphs and spent years trying to decode it without success. His work, however, laid the groundwork for future studies. In the 20th century, the manuscript came to the attention of William Newbold, a professor of philosophy. He believed that the text was written in a form of shorthand with each character representing a series of smaller symbols. Using this method, he claimed to have deciphered parts of the manuscript, including a recipe for a potion and a description of the Andromeda galaxy. However, his theories were later debunked Another notable effort was made by the British cryptographer Elizabeth Friedman and her husband, William. Known for breaking codes during World War II, they applied their cryptographic skills to the manuscript. While they made some progress in identifying repeating patterns in the text, they ultimately concluded that the manuscript was a hoax. So, why is the Voynich manuscript so hard to decipher? Part of the challenge lies in its uniqueness. Unlike the Rosetta Stone, which had the same text in three different scripts, the Voynich manuscript is a standalone document. There's no known key to match its symbols to a known language. Additionally, the lack of historical context and the manuscript's apparent randomness add to the complexity. As we transition from the Voynich manuscript's enigma to the secrets of ancient Egypt, remember that the journey of decipherment is often fraught with challenges. 
But as history has shown, it's a journey worth undertaking. As we transition from the mystery of the Voynich Manuscript to the secrets of ancient Egypt, let's take a moment to appreciate the advancements in technology that have revolutionized the field of cryptanalysis. In the 21st century, we've seen a shift from traditional manual decipherment methods to more computational approaches. Machine learning, pattern recognition, and statistical analysis are now at the forefront of decipherment efforts. For the Voynich Manuscript, these computational techniques have provided new avenues to explore. Through machine learning, a subset of artificial intelligence, we can train computer algorithms to identify patterns and make predictions. This is particularly useful for analyzing the structure and content of the Voynich Manuscript. By feeding the computer thousands of examples of different languages, we can teach it to recognize linguistic patterns. Then, we can apply this knowledge to the manuscript, hoping to find similarities that might point to a potential language of origin. Pattern recognition, another computational technique, allows us to analyze the frequency and arrangement of the manuscript's symbols. This can shed light on whether the symbols follow a specific order or if they appear randomly. In the case of the Voynich manuscript, pattern recognition has revealed some intriguing, albeit inconclusive, results. The manuscript's symbols seem to follow certain rules, suggesting a structured language rather than a random assortment of glyphs. While these computational approaches have yet to crack the Voynich manuscript, they have certainly advanced our understanding of its structure and content. They have shown us that the manuscript's symbols are not random, but follow a certain order. They have also shown us that the manuscript's content is not just a jumble of symbols, but might be a structured language waiting to be deciphered. The potential of these computational approaches is immense. As we continue to refine these techniques and as computational power continues to grow, we may one day be able to shed light on the Voynich Manuscript's mysteries. And as we turn our attention to the secrets of ancient Egypt, remember that the power of computation can be a valuable tool in our quest to decode the past. As we journey from the uncharted territories of the Voynich Manuscript to the deciphered scripts of ancient Egypt, let's pause to reflect on the significance of these enigmatic texts. Each holds a unique place in our quest to unravel the mysteries of ancient civilizations. The Voynich Manuscript, an enigma wrapped in a riddle, continues to baffle experts despite the power of modern computation. Its cryptic symbols and illustrations, seemingly following a certain order, tantalize us with the promise of a hidden language yet to be deciphered. The power of machine learning and pattern recognition, while yet to unlock its secrets, have certainly brought us closer to understanding its structure and content. On the other hand, the Rosetta Stone, a trilingual inscription, served as a beacon of understanding, guiding us through the labyrinth of Egyptian hieroglyphs. It was this unassuming slab of black basalt that allowed us to hear the voices of the ancient Egyptians for the first time in millennia. It was a key to a world silenced by time, a world of pyramids, pharaohs, gods, and the afterlife. In both cases, the importance of decipherment is clear. It's through this process that we unlock the secrets of the past, giving voice to those long silenced. The Voynich Manuscript and the Rosetta Stone Though at opposite ends of the decipherment spectrum, both highlight the power of language and the importance of our continual pursuit to decode it. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of ancient scripts, we invite you to join us. Whether it's the tantalizing mystery of the Voynich Manuscript or the deciphered secrets of the Rosetta Stone, each offers a unique window into the past. Let's continue to explore these enigmatic texts together, appreciating the journey of discovery as much as the destination itself. As we transition from the enigma of the Voynich Manuscript to the decoded secrets of the Rosetta Stone, we'd like to take a moment to invite you, our esteemed audience, into the dialogue. What are your thoughts on these ancient scripts? Do you have any insights or theories on the Voynich Manuscript or the Rosetta Stone? Perhaps you've read something intriguing or have a burning question that's yet to be answered. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your participation helps us all to delve deeper into these mysteries. For those of you who are keen to further explore these ancient scripts, we recommend a few resources. Books like The Riddle of the Rosetta Stone by James Cross Giblin and The Voynich Manuscript, The Mysterious Code That Has Defied Interpretation for Centuries by Jerry Kennedy and Rob Churchill are excellent starting points. 
Online, you can delve into the comprehensive digital archives of the British Library and Yale University's Baynecker Rare Book and Manuscript Library. We want to extend our deepest gratitude for your interest and participation in this journey of discovery. Your curiosity and engagement make this exploration all the more rewarding. So let's continue unraveling these mysteries together, one symbol at a time. As we proceed to the next scene, we delve into the key that unlocked ancient Egypt, the Rosetta Stone. Stay tuned. Our journey begins with the Rosetta Stone, the key that unlocked the secrets of ancient Egypt. This unassuming slab of black basalt stumbled upon in the late 18th century would prove to be the linchpin in deciphering the cryptic language of the pharaohs, Egyptian hieroglyphs. When French soldiers unearthed the stone near the town of Rosetta in 1799, they had no idea they were holding a treasure trove of linguistic history. The stone was inscribed with three scripts, Greek, Demotic, a late stage of the ancient Egyptian language, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. This trilingual inscription was a game changer. It provided scholars with the first real chance to crack the code of hieroglyphs, a language that had baffled the world for centuries. The Greek text, a language well understood by scholars, served as a guide. It was an official decree issued by the Egyptian pharaoh which was also inscribed in the other two scripts. This meant the same message was written thrice, just in different languages. This allowed scholars to match the Greek words and phrases to their hieroglyphic counterparts. The key player in this linguistic breakthrough was a man named Jean-Francois Champollion. He was a linguistic prodigy, fluent in several ancient languages. By comparing the Greek and Egyptian scripts on the Rosetta Stone, Champollion could identify the sounds and meanings of hieroglyphic symbols for the first time. He realized that hieroglyphs were not just symbolic, but also phonetic, a combination of sounds and ideas. This was a revolutionary discovery. The Rosetta Stone gave us the ability to hear the voices of ancient Egypt, to read their stories, their beliefs, their hopes and fears. It allowed us to step into a world that had been silent for millennia, a world of pyramids and pharaohs, of gods and the afterlife. The Rosetta Stone laid the foundation for deciphering ancient scripts, opening doors to a world lost in time, and as we'll discover, it's just the beginning. The quest to decode the past continues, leading us to other enigmatic scripts, other forgotten civilizations, but that's a story for another scene. Next, we turn to the towering cliffs of Iran, where the Behistun inscription helped decipher the oldest known writing system. In the rugged terrain of Iran, etched onto a cliff face, lies a monumental message from the past, the Behistun inscription. This colossal rock relief, carved during the reign of Darius the Great in the 5th century BCE was the key to unlocking the secrets of cuneiform, the world's oldest known writing system. Cuneiform, originating from the Latin word cuneus, meaning wedge, was used by multiple ancient civilizations including the Sumerians, Akkadians and Persians. It was an intricate system of wedge-shaped marks inscribed on clay tablets with a reed stylus. For centuries, its secrets lay buried beneath the sands of time until the discovery of the Behistun inscription. The inscription, towering over 100 feet above the ground, was a challenging puzzle. It comprised three versions of the same text, written in Old Persian, Elamite, and Babylonian, a form of Akkadian cuneiform. The Old Persian text served as a stepping stone, with scholars initially deciphering this script due to its relative simplicity. But the journey to understanding cuneiform was far from straightforward. It required painstaking efforts from linguists and archaeologists who grappled with the complexity of the script and the scarcity of reference materials. The process was akin to piecing together a jigsaw puzzle with countless missing pieces. One of the key figures in this endeavor was Sir Henry Rawlinson, a British officer and scholar. He braved the hazardous cliffs to copy the inscription and spent years analyzing the symbols. Eventually, his efforts bore fruit, and the echo of ancient voices began to resonate once again. The decipherment of cuneiform was a monumental achievement, opening a window into the rich tapestry of ancient Mesopotamian life. It allowed us to read the Epic of Gilgamesh, the world's oldest epic poem, and understand the Code of Hammurabi, one of the earliest known legal codes. The Behistun inscription, like the Rosetta Stone, illuminated a forgotten era, giving us insights into the dawn of writing. From the old world, we now journey to the new world, where the Mayan glyphs held the secrets of a thriving civilization. Imagine a culture so rich, so vibrant, 
that its stories are etched in stone. This was the case with the ancient Mayans of Mesoamerica, whose complex system of glyphs had long puzzled scholars. In a language of over 800 signs, each intricate symbol held a fragment of Mayan history waiting to be unlocked. The discovery of the Mayan glyphs was not an easy feat. It was a journey that took centuries, filled with intrepid explorers, dedicated scholars, and the occasional stroke of luck. The first known Western contact with Mayan glyphs happened in the early 16th century, but the true breakthrough came much later, in the mid-20th century. The decipherment of these glyphs was like solving a formidable puzzle. It was a game of patience and persistence, requiring a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of the Mayan culture. Each glyph had to be studied in context, and their meanings inferred through a combination of linguistic analysis and cultural interpretation. But the effort was worth it. The decipherment of the Mayan glyphs was a breakthrough of monumental proportions. It opened a window into the world of the pre-Columbian Americas, revealing a civilization of astonishing complexity and sophistication. From their intricate calendar systems to their grand architectural feats, the Mayans left an indelible mark on history that we are only beginning to appreciate. The significance of this decipherment cannot be overstated. It not only revolutionized our understanding of the Mayan civilization, but also shed light on the broader cultural landscape of the Americas before the arrival of Columbus. It painted a picture of a world teeming with life and creativity, where societies thrived and cultures intersected in fascinating ways. The decipherment of Mayan glyphs transformed our understanding of the Americas before Columbus, adding a new chapter to human history. As we continue our journey of discovery, let us not forget the power of language to unlock the secrets of the past and illuminate the path to the future. Finally, we arrive at the Voynich Manuscript, a riddle wrapped in a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Named after Wilfred Voynich, the Polish book dealer who unearthed it in the early 20th century, this cryptic codex has puzzled scholars, cryptographers and linguists for over a hundred years. Bound in vellum and adorned with bizarre illustrations of unknown plants, strange constellations, and complex diagrams, the Voynich manuscript is written in an indecipherable script. Its pages echo a language lost in time, a silent whisper from a forgotten era. Despite repeated attempts, its secrets are yet to be unlocked, its meaning yet to be understood. The manuscript has been subjected to various theories, from it being an elaborate hoax to a work of an alien civilization. Some scholars believe it to be a pharmacopoeia, a medieval manual on herbal medicine, while others suggest it might be a treatise on nature and astronomy. However, without a key to decode the script, these theories remain speculative. In the world of decipherment, the Voynich manuscript stands as the ultimate challenge. The best cryptographers of our time, armed with advanced algorithms and artificial intelligence, have tried and failed to crack its code. Yet, in this failure, lies the allure of the Voynich Manuscript. It's a testament to the complexities of language, a monument to the enigmas of the past. The quest to decipher the Voynich Manuscript continues, with each unsuccessful attempt only fueling our curiosity and determination. It's a reminder of the vast tapestry of human knowledge, of the countless scripts yet to be deciphered, stories yet to be told. The Voynich Manuscript, an enigma yet to be solved, reminds us that the journey of decipherment is far from over. As we delve deeper into the realms of the unknown, we continue to unravel the intricate threads of our past, one letter, one word, one manuscript at a time. Deciphering ancient scripts, as we've seen, is more than solving puzzles. It's a quest for understanding our past. It's like peeling back layers of time to reveal the thoughts, stories and wisdom of civilizations long gone. Taking the Rosetta Stone as a key, we unlocked the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Through the code of cuneiform, we peered into the cradle of civilization. With the Mayan glyphs, we discovered a new world of knowledge, and despite the enigma of the Voynich manuscript, we continue to strive for comprehension. Each decipherment effort is an integral thread in the intricate tapestry of human history. They serve as crucial bridges, connecting us to our ancestors, illuminating our shared heritage and enriching our understanding of humanity's collective journey. As we continue to decipher the scripts of our ancestors, we not only uncover the past, but also learn more about ourselves and our place in the grand tapestry of human history. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, History Documentaries, for more fascinating journeys into the past.